Welcome to day three of the back pain challenge and to the third exercise that accompanies the launch of um, a book in Germany that should eliminate back pain for anyone that speaks German because it's a really, really good uh, technique and well explained of how to deal with it, how to understand it better and what you can do at home to prevent back pain, ideally, or if you have it, to get rid of it. That would be ideal. So I've seen lovely successes with Yves Schembrach, and I will keep this video brief, as it's really late already. Um, so we had two exercises so far. The first one was opening the front of the body. The second one was opening the back of the body. Guess what? The third one is opening the side of the body. I'll show you how it's done in the video uh, in German. And um, I just use explanations a bit differently, but feel free to check it out. And the graphics are quite good on that. So you basically, when you go to the side, you want to avoid to go that far that you have to come forward. So that you lose your, your posture, right? your head comes forwards. So I'd like to put you against a door or a wall or wherever you have space to stand like that. Close the door behind you and you have a free surface if you don't have wide, wide walls like these ones where you can stretch in all directions if you want to. Same thing again, outside of your feet are parallel, knees rotated out so that they point straight over your second toe, so you feel your legs on. You tuck your tailbone under so you can feel your lower back go towards the wall a little bit. You bring your hands right down the seam of your trousers, down, and you try to have your head to the wall. So if you need to reach your head back to get to the wall, don't do that. Try to keep your chin in and try to go towards the wall. If you don't touch the wall, you won't touch it for now, but you're going to do something about it and it will get better every day. So try to kind of meet that wall a bit. From there, I want you to lift through your center, bring one hand to the top of your pelvis and the other hand down your leg, staying in contact with the wall and just feel how it feels. So if there's at any time a pinch here, you'll need to lift up some more to unpinch and maybe not go quite as far. We're looking for a nice opening over the side. So this is how it looks in the video. I personally quite like to add the arms. So this is easy and you can go quite far without any strain and just feeling like a nice opening here over the top of your pelvis towards the hips, drawing the tummy in towards the wall. You could maybe bring your arm over, making sure your shoulder plate still meets that wall and bring your arm up. That will intensify it quite a bit. So if this is hard, do not use your arm. Just keep your arm resting right here. And breathe deeply. And guess what? If you've listened before, how long do we hold it for? Two minutes or more. So if you really strain yourself, if you do the other side, you won't be able to hold it even for 30 seconds. You know, because everything will just be like, like a fight, fighting to get out of it. So you want to get to a place where you can actually maintain this for two minutes. And that might be with your arm at your hip, because this might be actually too much. Because it does increase the work into the hips and the side quite a bit. So depending on your level and where you are, you can just go a little bit, that's absolutely fine. But first of all, you lift through your center before you add the side leaning. So if you think of a straw, 
it doesn't have like the flexible bit in the middle. So you want to take the straw and bend it without kinking. So bending it around, lifting, keeping the length without kinking. You don't want to go just over to the side. Explore it. Feedback how it feels. Leave me a little like and share it. If you have any questions, just let me know. And I hope to see you tomorrow.